Welcome back to Skyrim Mod Comparisons. Today we'll be looking at horse mods, and the two mods are Convenient Horses and Immersive Horses. And of course these mods are very different from each other. Um, Convenient Horses has been around for a long time and is currently on its fifth version. Immersive Horses, however, is quite a new mod, and it's still on version 1.0 at the time of making this video. At the moment, Convenient Horses is by far the most popular horse mod on Nexus. I think it has about 60,000 endorsements. Um, and yeah, basically it has features which all aim to make horses a lot more useful and a lot less stupid. I'll go through the main features now. So as you can see, when you install a mod, you get an MCM menu. This menu is very detailed, you can pretty much do anything with it. Anything you want to modify about a horse, you can do it within this menu. So for example, there's the hotkeys, um, and these basically add new features. So. The first hotkey that I'm going to talk about is the Horse Inventory key. Yes, your horse now has an inventory, much like a follower. And this means you can store as much crap in there as you wish, or you can set a limit to how much weight the horse can carry, which is a bit more realistic. So I have my hotkey set to H, and then as you can see I keep all my scrolls in my horses, and there they are, all waiting for me. And the next thing, which is I think is very important and a big part of this mod, is the Follow and Wait commands. So I have it set to caps lock, um, and then basically my horse will either wait or he'll follow. Um, and there's a little animation of you waving your hand, um, and it's pretty useful, um, especially when you want your horse to wait as you go in somewhere rather than follow you around as you're trying to kill some enemies outside a dungeon perhaps. And it also just makes it very easy to control your horse. Now another feature which I really like is the horse whistle or horse call feature. Basically you can whistle and your horse will come running from anywhere. And this is very useful if you've managed to leave your horse behind, as I often do. Um, and there's also a horn which you can buy for 500 gold. And this basically makes the horse appear in front of you, almost magically. Um, I don't really like using it as much, I prefer to use the whistle, it's a lot more immersive. Another thing this mod adds, which I won't go into too much, is horses for followers. And it's compatible with all the big uh, follower mods like UFO and EFF. And I have a video comparing the follower mods right here if you want to watch it, in case you're interested. Now one thing I really like about this mod is the customization. So as you can see here in the MCM menu we have speed, health and stamina. Now you can increase these as much as you want and I do like to increase the speed usually to about 50 or 60 percent because as you can see a normal horse is very slow and perhaps unrealistically slow. When you gallop you don't seem to go very fast but with this mod you can increase it and I prefer that a lot more. It's a lot more realistic in my eyes. Um, and also it just makes things a lot more convenient, as the mod title suggests. Another thing you can select is uh, how horses react to combat. Normally in the vanilla game they sort of run in, try and fight dragons and get killed, which is always a great loss and uh, rather annoying. But in this mod you can actually choose whether they're foolhardy, like the vanilla game, or they're cowardly and they stay behind and run away, which is probably what you want to choose. Another feature which is probably my favourite is the fast dismount. I use this quite a lot when I'm playing normally, um, and this is where you hit hockey and you sort of dive off the back of the horse in a very action movie like way, and you draw your weapon. And of course this is very useful because fighting on the back of a horse isn't that easy. And the final feature I'll talk about is the auto loot feature. This basically allows you to loot enemies that you kill um, from horseback. It's sort of cheating if you're into law friendly stuff, but uh, it's useful if you want the convenience. So that's pretty much it for the main features of this mod. Although the one other thing I should mention is that Convenient Horses is quite script heavy. Um, there's all sorts of advanced scripts being used for the AI, and too many scripts in your game can sometimes cause them to be queued, which can then cause a lot of lag when performing certain actions. So it's quite important to make sure you don't have too many script heavy mods installed, so keep note of that if you're planning to install this mod. So now we'll move on to Immersive Horses. So Immersive Horses is a new and relatively unknown mod. It's a lot different from Convenient Horses. Um, the main difference being it utilizes a horse options menu, which allows you to do almost anything. So obviously you have your ride and your dismount options. I don't really have to explain those. Now there are lots and lots of options, as you can see as I'm scrolling through them all. But the first thing that caught my attention was the rename option. This I really like. I like the idea you can actually give your horse a name, it adds a more personal feeling to it, and overall I think it makes the horse more like a follower. You can also check the horse's stats just like you can with certain follower mods. 
and just like in Convenient Horses, you can tell the horse to either wait or to follow, um, except there's no animation. Now, if you like the idea that when you click on your horse the menu appears, that's great. But if you don't, like most people I imagine, uh, you can go into the MCM menu and choose hotkeys. So what I've done here is I've set the hotkeys uh, for mount and dismount, and then when I sneak, it opens up the horse's inventory. And the other thing I did was to make the horse menu appear when I hit the H key. Now this changes the mod entirely for me, um, and makes it a lot better. I find with games that the more menus I have, the more confused I get. So with this, I can only have the menu pop up when I need it, and most of the time I can assign the rest of the things I use the most to hotkeys. But in some ways, I do really like the horse menu as well, because it allows you to look at the stats just like a follower. So another thing this mod does is basically increase the speed of horses in general. As we saw when we were looking at convenient horses, horses are very slow in the game, and you could increase them with that mod. But with this mod, it's by default, when you gallop, you are very fast. Another thing that's been made faster is the mount animation. As you can see, as you get on and off the horse, it's slightly faster, but not too much to break immersion. Now, one of the biggest features of this mod is the different breeds of horse that you find around Skyrim. All these different breeds have different traits and specialities, and I think this adds a lot of variety to the game. Not to mention that the special horses like Frost and Shadowmere all have their own custom stats and are higher levels than normal horses. Not to mention they're now capable of killing things fairly easily. And if you have more than one horse, you can actually control them separately or together, and as you can imagine, there are infinite possibilities with this. The last thing I should mention is the scripting. Immersive Horses doesn't use as many scripts as Convenient Horses does, um, and this basically means that it's a lot more lightweight, and uninstalling it is a lot less risky. So that's it for Immersive Horses. Looking back at both the mods, um, I think Convenient Horses does what it says on the tin, it adds convenience, but at the moment I find myself preferring Immersive Horses just for the fact that you can rename your horse and become more of a follower than an animal. And of course, the fact that you can have more than one horse is very interesting, and I'm looking forward to messing around with it in the future. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.